with a dedicated workforce, fiery determination, and scientific precision, we had strength to steal. Moil, a Schedule A Mini Ratna Category 1 PSU, is India's largest producer of manganese ore. Originally set up in the year 1896 as Central Province Prospecting Syndicate, it was later renamed as Central Province's Manganese Ore Company Limited, CPMO, a British company incorporated in the UK. In 1962, as per an agreement, the assets of CPMO were taken over with 17% shareholding each by the Government of India, State Governments of Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh and the rest by CPMO. Thus, Moyle was formed on 22nd June 1962. It was in 1977, the balance 49% shares were acquired from CPMO and Moyle became a 100% government company. Moyle Limited, which is under administrative control of the Ministry of Steel, has an annual production of about 1.15 million tons and is the largest producer of manganese ore in India with a market share of approximately 45%. 95% of the manganese ore production is consumed directly or indirectly in steel making. With such an application and market leadership, they say, wherever you see a tree, Roots are strengthening it. Wherever you see steel, Moyle's ore is strengthening it. Moyle has a total of 1,730 hectares lease area, out of which 700 hectares is in Maharashtra and 1,030 hectares is in Madhya Pradesh. It accounts for 23% of total Indian proven reserves and has access to 32 million tons of reserves and 41.5 million tons of resources. It is the largest employer in manganese mining industry in India and has a workforce of around 6,500. At present, Moyle operates 10 mines, 6 located at Nagpur and Bandara districts of Maharashtra and 4 in Balagat district of Madhya Pradesh. Mines at Kandri, Mansar, Beldongri, Gungaon, Chikla, Balagat and Ukwa are underground mines and Dongri Buzur, Sitaputor and Tirodi are open cast mines. The Balaghat mine, which has now reached a depth of about 340 meters from the surface, has the distinction of being the deepest underground manganese mine in Asia. Moyle also has integrated manganese ore beneficiation plants at Balaghat of 500,000 tons per annum capacity and at Dongri Puzurk of 400,000 tons per annum capacity. Dongri Buzurk mine is a mechanized open cast mine and known for its high grade ore including manganese dioxide ore used by dry battery industry. This ore in the form of manganese oxide is used as micronutrient for cattle feed and fertilizers. For long, Moyle had been a single product mining organization. In 1990s, Moyle diversified and set up ferromanganese plant of 10,000 tons per annum and electrolytic manganese dioxide EMD plant of 1000 tons per annum. The EMD plant is the only plant in India to manufacture EMD, a high value product used in dry cells and pharmaceutical industry. In 2010, Government of India and State Government of Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh together divested total 20% of equity shares and Moyle became a listed company with its shares listed on National Stock Exchange and Bombay Stock Exchange. At present, Government of India holds 71.57% equity in Moyle and Government of Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh hold 4.62% and 3.81% respectively. Moyle has been continuously recording excellent performance and is a profit-making company over the last two decades. It is an MOU signing company which has got excellent MOU ratings continuously for last 19 years. Recognizing this, the government upgraded Moyle to schedule a company on 28th of January 2014.
Moil has also won various national awards like National Energy Conservation, All India Mines Rescue Competition, Quality Circle Forum of India, etc. Continuing the growth path, an area of 815 hectares has been reserved by central government in favor of Moil in Nagpur and Bandara districts of Maharashtra. Out of this, the state government has granted prospecting license for 597 hectares. It is expected that at least three new mines will be opened in these areas. Ministry of Mines, Government of India has recently notified Moil for conducting exploration for various minerals all over the country. This opens up opportunities to Moil to expand its business. Mining and particularly underground mining is hazardous. Moil lays special emphasis to ensure safety in the mines and working areas and also makes continuous efforts to reduce accidents by constantly improving the standards of safety by introducing latest mining techniques and involving its employees in the process. The company has been getting various awards for its different mines like national awards for longest accident-free period and lowest injury frequency rate. Moil has also obtained OHSAS ISO 18001 certification which is given for occupational health and safety for six of its mines. Moil with the goal of achieving sustainable development has taken proactive measures to reduce global warming. The company is conscious of its responsibility towards environmental protection in and around its leasehold areas. So far, Moil has planted about 18.5 lakh saplings in its mining and adjoining areas. Besides, a drive has been initiated for plantation in arid areas and waste dumps. To be an eco-friendly organization, the company has set up two wind farms of a total 20 megawatt. Corporate Social Responsibility CSR, in Moil is a continuous process. Moil has been carrying out CSR activities in a resolute manner for several years. Significant among them are construction of Moil DAV Public School at Chikla in Bandhara district having a capacity of 1400 students. Carrying out various infrastructural development works in villages located in the vicinity of its operational areas like construction of roads, community halls and restoration of water bodies. Providing drinking water facility to villages in remote areas. Carrying out cataract surgeries under its Light to Lives program for needy rural poor to eradicate blindness. It has carried out more than 3,000 cataract surgeries so far. Under Swachh Bharat Swachh Vidyalay Abhiyan of Government of India, Moil has constructed 100 toilets in 80 schools in the given time frame. Community Development Program in association with Mitra of Bayef Development Research Foundation, Pune, which covers improved agricultural practices, livestock development, water resource management, health awareness program, providing biogas, solar labs, and personal toilets, schemes for women empowerment, education, and skill development in 21 villages in the vicinity of its mines. Moil is the first company under Ministry of Steel to introduce pension scheme for its employees, including staff and workers. The company takes special care of its employees and provides housing, drinking water, electricity, medical facilities and has also got medical insurance scheme for its retired employees. In the recent past, it has commissioned vertical shafts at Mansar and Ukva mines. Moil has already taken up projects of sinking of second vertical shafts at Chikla, Mansar and Ukva mines. It also plans to have another shaft at Gungao mine and a large dire shaft at Balaghat mine. With the thrust it is given to continuous exploration, new shaft sinking and deepening projects, mechanization, R&D and a well chalked out strategic plan, Moil is sure to grow from strength to strength and continue to be the market leader.